I know. I know I Randall don't. likes apples, mm-hmm. too. And I know this weekend, the American Legion Post 34 is hosting a veteran fall fest. This year, the Legion is celebrating by helping in the fight against hunger in the entire city of Indianapolis. Yeah, and to do that, it's launching something called a cool bus. Our Randall Newsom went to check it out. All right, guys, if you happen to be riding down East 54th Street, you may notice something uh, over here at the American Legion, post number 34. And that right there is the cool bus. And I got to talk to the person behind the cool bus right here. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine today. Thank good, you. Good, 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 good. Okay, so, Jeff, when you think of what it took to even bring this to life, uh, what comes to mind for you? You know, it was just getting people to believe in the mission. Uh, I had a vision and I felt sure that it would help to offset the issues of food access. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, uh, I just went ahead and bought it. And once you have something you can touch, something tangible, it's easier to sell to people than a vision. They understand it now because you can see it, touch it, and feel it. A mobile grocery uh, here in this community, uh, why did you feel like this was an important move to make right now? You know, starting in 2015, when they began closing the double eight food stores, uh, Senator Greg Taylor had sent out a notification asking for citizens, their ideas, their help. And I woke up in the middle of the night with a vision of not trying to transport people to the food, take the food to the people. And everyone's recommending that we uh, that we have a brick and mortar and make one fun footprint. And I thought, you know, with the bus, I'm going to put some footprints all over the food desert mm-hmm. so I could reach out with that. And I, uh, I, I submitted that to Senator Taylor and he gave me a letter and said, Jeff, make this happen. So uh, I've been working on this uh, since in 2016 when the Marsh grocery stores started closing and our numbers of people affected by the food desert went from 200,000 to over 300,000. Wow. And I knew some of those people and I felt that this would really be a, 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 nice, a nice pressure gap on that. Uh-huh. For those who haven't seen the inside yet, how does this whole thing work? It's, it's an actual grocery store inside, right? Absolutely. I have the shelving. I have refrigeration. Uh, the one thing we don't have on this bus right now is food, mm-hmm. and that's really important. That's what this fundraiser and fall festival that we'll be talking about, that's what it's for. It's to raise the funding to inventory this bus and begin that service to our re- residents that receive the SNAP benefits. For those who are just now finding out about this mission, uh, what would you say to them to say, we need your help, we want you to get involved in helping us help others? Absolutely. Uh, here at American Legion Post 34, 2210 mm-hmm. East 54th Street, we'll be doing a fundraiser this Saturday. Please come. We have live music from 3 until about 11 o'clock at night. It's kid-friendly during the day with pumpkins and treats, great music, food, just a whole lot of good people and a very good mission. Awesome, Jeff. You're awesome, man. And wait, 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 wait. we got to talk about this beard right here. Could, you, th- you think I could, uh, I could pull that off, Jeff? What do you think? Get, get my chin in action? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll notice, though, I didn't have to have the white put in there. I furnished the white. Yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm going to figure out the white, and then I'm, I'm, I might figure out the pink, depending on what you guys think. Let's <laughs> support this mobile grocery store, guys, here in this community. The cool bus. I'll send it back to you guys. Hey, I sounds love a cool pretty guy cool to me. Cool bus. Yeah. You might have to work on Randall with this whole... <laughs> beard goatee situation i don't know we'll pray about it in the meantime all of these great things are happening there on saturday the live music will start jamming on t- at two o'clock in the afternoon so you can't miss it yeah and again all the proceeds are going toward helping the veterans feed people in need so it's a win-win